Hi, Zweetians. Welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Zweetie Pie, and we are back today with a Sims pack update. So, I don't really do update ones, but I wasn't doing stuff when I did Toddler, which is like my favorite, favorite update. But, like... I really wanted to do this one because there are so many things in here that are really great and I'll make sure to link the exact patch updates down below in case you want to scroll through them. Um, they are quite neat um, as to a lot of different things that they have done and um, it sorts them out by packing everything for you. So I'm just going to go over a bit of the items that means most to me. So uh, just saying uh, yeah. So we're going to go over that. So first we're going to start in cast here. We have our great little lady here, which I forgot to name her. We're going to name her Whitney. There we go. And I forgot to name him, right? Yep. Um, okay, he can be Chase. Brag. Okay, cool. All right. So for her there's this new outfit here which is really cool i like this outfit a lot i would wear this except for the button-up shirt underneath it would be more like a t-shirt so like this is something i would wear in like spring or fall where you just you might need your little cardigan you might not depending on the weather yeah this is really cute and it comes in some great different colors so it's got those swatches that one um there's the base it's got that. It's got some nice basic colors. That one's really good too. I like that one. Um, so you can have a variety of colors and things like that. It's really great. And then we got these new flats for females. If I click the right button here. And they, once again, come in a lots of different colors here. Some fun and funky. Some other ones just plain. Um, I'll probably get a lot of use out of them. So like, I'll put them back to the flight white. Then we got this outfit here, which I love this shirt. This color palette here is so flipping cute. I like it. So comes in this color and that one and that one. It's got some base colors with the shirt in it, um, which is really great. You can use this for a lot of different things, but I think this one's my favorite. Once again, I paired it with those flats. And then we got this one because uh, they did a um, collaboration with machino it's an italian company so if i'm pronouncing that wrong i'm very sorry um but yeah so like i love the shirt i think it is totally great i think it's really cute um i would wear something like this yep definitely so like you know kind of like a spring or fall weather it's a little nippy you want to be kind of cash but you know not this is great great for it um so i just paired it with some of the jeans and stuff so and then we have this outfit here, which is supposed to be like a formal casual outfit, in my opinion, but it's not under formal, it's under base game um, for everyday outfits, but it's really cute. I like this. I wished the shirt came separately because I could see this pair of jeans and all sorts of stuff to be kind of like casual. Um, I got to click that off to do this. And then it has a couple different swatches and then it starts to get a little funky here. Look at those. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, and then it goes back to some more plain but bright. So you can kind of show your personality but hold it back a little bit. So this is a really great outfit and I paired it again once again with those flats. I really like this. And then for the men, we got this outfit here, which it minus the shoes. So the shirt and the pants. And this shirt is really cute. It's got like the rolled up sleeves, like, you know, they're getting a little busy. So it starts in these patterns here, which is really great. Then it goes to some sophisticated colors. Then it has like this salmon and this purple for guys. It's just so beautiful. And then it's got like some polka dots. So I'm not sure I'd ever use these polka dots, but they are adorable. And then we got these new pants here as well. As you can see, they have like a drawstring at the top, but they're like slacks and like iron. So it's like, do I sleep in them, jog in them, or work in them? So like it's really a mixture of clothing for like business cash, but I like it. Then I just paired it with a pair of like base game flips and they're like good, you know, little slide cheesies ready to go. Then they also got this shirt as well. 
which is really cute. I think this is my favorite color in it. So it looks like the female one. It's got some of the same things without the undershirt. And then it goes into these tricolor things, which are so cute. I love these. And then it has a couple of the basic colors, which is really great as well. Um, then they got this shirt here. Once again, really great shirt. Um, there's the basic swatch. It has some really great colorings with it. It's really greatly made. It looks so comfy and nice. And then the thing I like about this shirt so much is it has the little arm patches with it. That is so, so cute. Love that. Um, and then once again, they got the same sweatshirt as pos as well and on the fema i forgot to show the colorings but they're all the same colorings there so i just paired her with a pair of shorts and flats and he just looks adorable and like he's ready to go so next i'm going to take you into the build by section and we'll see what other new stuff we get there so i'll be right back with you all right zoodians we are back i have a little room here i created for us which is really really cute with all the new stuff, I think I've gotten it all, so hopefully I don't miss anything in this. Um, but we have this new desk. It's called the Angelette Desk, and it comes in some wonderful colors. The Sims team really listened when we said we wanted different arrays of wood colors and black and white. And then it has some other great colors down here as well. I can see I'm using in kids' rooms and stuff beautiful what i am really excited for in all of this is the new shelf it is called the edgier ladder case because like if you ever wanted a bookcase on the wall you had to live with this like well here let me go to bookcases yeah this little thing here which i don't have any room so it was like that you guys know what it is and it was okay it was all right but this is so cute it is so so cute and it once again comes in the same colors as the desk you know the normal black white other wood colors it is so cute i love it and what i really really love is that the books change with it as i move it look look those books they change they're different it's so great i love that um it also comes with this nice little end table once again same different color choices which makes it so so great love the set i could see me using all this um with it came the new computer chair it's called the professional and it has a lot of different swatches as well so like the cushions stay white and like the frame changes on this one and then it starts going into different ones and they are so cute i could see me using this in different ways it is so awesome and it looks comfy Oh, love it. If you know me, if you've watched me learn to build, I love to clutter. So thank goodness for an absolutely new pen holder. Because, like, if we wanted a pen holder before, we had to use... Let me find it. I mean, it was fine. But, like, this little kitty-ish one. And, like, I have no room left on all my stuff. There it is. That. I mean... It's cute. It's cute for kids desk. I don't want it on my adult desk, but you know, you had to use it and I would get some CC pens holder with like little notepad like EA, please. Can I have like a little notepad and pencil to like put on my desk for like my Sims are writing? That's not CC. That would be so cute and adorable. I love it. Um, they also gave us this new book here as well. And it comes in a couple of different color choices as well. And it like looks like coffee stains on here on some of it. This one don't have it. That one don't have it. The writing's different on each of them. A book color under here because like there's a book there. Changes. It's so cute. Oh, and like down here on the shelf, it's got like little flags in it. Like they're reading it. It is so adorable. I love this. Um, I just put that there for decoration. That is nothing new. We did, I know you guys are looking at it, get a new laptop. So if you do not have StrangerVille, you can now have a laptop. It's added in the base game. It's called the Free Roam Portable Computing Device. So you can now have it. This is just a plain color swatch and then it has a black, it has a gray, and then it has chroma key collars, which are so cool. So I'm gonna flip it to that. I'll go in live mode and let you see it for a minute. But it's so cool. It changes colors. It's like a lot of gamers have it. So I can see it. She's in this a lot. Then this came as well. It's called Robo the Friendly Circuitry Kit. And it has a couple different swatches. 
Um, if I turn it around here, you can see like the guts of it are hanging out like the little programmer kid is like working on this or something. It's so cute. Um, we also got this little hand sculpture here. It's called the hand reference model to help your artist be able to do the hand more accurately and everything. And it's so, so cute. Oh, I love it. And it's got a couple different swatches as well. There we go. I like that color though. And then if you do the new freelance career, you get this when you like Supreme Freelancer Award when you like finish or something. Yeah. Unlock the first time a sim maxed out the performance meter in any trade within the freelance career. Okay. That's what it is. I knew it was something like that. I was like, oh, I'm going to hack through this one. Well, there you go. I did. I hacked through it for you, but it is so cute and adorable. Um, I know there's a couple different tasks you could take with it. You could do the writing, you could do the programming, um, or you can do the freelance artist once. I don't know if you get the same one for all three of the branches, and they said they might come out with more of the career branches with it that came with this as well. But, you know, yeah, I can see that. I can see it. It's cute. I like it. Um, and then we got this. Oh, look how cute this is. I can see me throwing this in for a little room and everything just being adorable and enjoying it. And I like this swatch a lot really do and then i love this swatch this swatch is really awesome too i don't know what it means but it kind of looks like it spells love it's kind of cool i love it uh, i don't understand that one but it's okay it's probably an artist thing that one is so cute too that's like an artist like rendering for like some business or something i don't know but it's really cute i like it and then that one is like some abstract art stuff which is you know a little bit more out of my taste than a more cutesy and artsy so yeah i i really like that so there's all that this rug just comes with it nothing in that play it just comes with it. i threw it in there to look good and i use white floorboards i've never i don't ever use white floorboards i think it looks pretty good um there was one more thing that came with this pack do you guys see it i haven't hit it yet do you I'm so happy for it. You know how many times we complain there is no white shelf? Look, we have a pretty white shelf. It is called the Immaculate. It's a base game. We had all these other colors, which, I mean, I, I can do it here. We had, like, the darkers and the blacks and a couple other wood tones. And we had to use this for white, but now we have a white swatch. <gasps> My heart's content. It looks so cute. I love it. I hope they go back and make sure that, you know, all the other woods have a basic white and black in everything. And then a couple wood color variances of other ones. So as builders, we can mix and match some of the packs and like get them to look better together, I think would be really, really great. So this patch update on top of fixing all the other bugs and stuff gave us a new career with three choices. All of this stuff here which is totally totally awesome um let me hit that live mode hopefully my people don't run away and you can see the chroma here um look at it go isn't it so cute omg i'm gonna be playing with that that is like my love yep uh-huh yeah i can deal with that all right they're all gonna try to come in here because you know i put no door on this place so y'all have fun with that but whatevs, whatevs. So there is one more thing I want to show you guys. So if you hit Control Shift C and put on your testing sheets on and hit enter, okay? Then you have to hit in a key. It is called, this is the cheat. Boom. BD, BB dot show hidden objects hit enter it'll be on then you can go into your cheat menu in build and you can type in debug and it will take you here so this is filtering everything if you take that and filter it by strangerville it says we got four minutes three four new objects that i haven't even known so let me place it um we have the assuming not confidential papers which are kind of cool we have 
um, a new gate, which is really cute. Um, this new gate, which is cute. And this new gate, and I see there are white swatches in it, so I am happy. Happy, but I've hit all the other ones, so I don't know how I missed those, but okay. And we got other great things. They are, look, <gasps> oh, so I laid them all out for you, but if you filter by Stranger Villa, you will come to them. Like, here's the tire, all of that. So, like, it's so cool. We got the army car. We got the trailers we wanted unlocked are unlocked. We got some car decor. There's the tire again. Uh -huh. I can see me working with this. I can. I can. I can. And then we all wanted the Strangerville cactuses and plants to be unlocked so we could build with them. And guess what? They are all here. Even like the little flower things. I love them. And rocks. Rocks. Yes. I am so happy we got more rocks. Two sets. There's that set, and then there's that set. They are so, so cute. Um, they don't change colors. And since they're debug, you can't copy them, but like I said, if you filter, you can scroll and you can find them. And these are the only two copies, but you know, if you're in StrangerVille or a couple of other worlds, these would look really cute together. Look at that. And they size down, they size up, I mean, Kate Emerald is going to have a field day with these rocks. I'm sure she will use them to really good use. She is like an awesome builder. I can't wait to see how she incorporates them on stuff. But these are so great. I could build with these and put these in driveways. The only thing I wish they would have done a little bit more are there are other cars that came with Strangerville that they could have unlocked and put in with this. Just for for decor. I don't care anymore. I know I can't drive in it. It's fine. I'm cool with it. It doesn't bother me that I can't drive it, but can I please have it like this so I can place it on my driveway just so I can look like I have a car and feel better or put it in my garage like these? I mean, come on, please, EA, unlock them. But yeah, we have all of this stuff. It is so great. I'm so happy we got all this. So I just wanted to clue you guys in on that. I will leave a link down below for all of the patch notes so that way you guys can go and read and see what they all are and make sure of all that. But this is everything we got. And honestly, for a free patch, it is one of my favorites. I really, really love it. So I hope you guys do too. If you have any notes or if you think I missed anything, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Sweetieville so it can grow and be the happy little place I know it can be. But until next time, all my Sweetians out there, have a sweetie delicious day. Bye!